Hi everyone, in this video we are going to smooth skin. We're going to select skin and then we're going to go BAM! Look at that, before, after, before, after. We're going to try and not go too far. You can go all the way far and smooth it completely out. We're going to try not to go too overboard. So selecting and smoothing skin. We'll have a couple of examples where we both uh, smooth out the skin and kind of do some color correction as well. So before, after, trying to keep it natural. We'll do a more fuller edit where we remove noise from a high ISO and do some color correction and some skin smoothing. Look at that, pretty good. Maybe a little bit too far, maybe. Then we'll go all the way the other way and take this handsome man and go, bam, look how more rugged he looks. We're gonna add texture to the skin and make his beard look more beardy. All that and more in this video. Actually, no more, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, let's open up this image here. Okay, we're gonna go in for our masking panel. Okay, and remember, make sure under edit preferences on a PC or Lightroom preferences, that you have people turned on. Okay, and you can see down here, we've got the groom and we've got the bride. Okay, we're gonna click on the bride here, person two. In the previous video, we looked at the entire person, but look at this, if you hover above it, you've probably already had a look. Look, face skin, red, <laughs> weird, but body skin, eyebrows, lips, or teeth here. Okay, we'll cover these first two in this video and we'll split the other ones on to the next video. Okay, so let's just pick face skin for the moment. It's up to you. Let's have a little look at her actually. I'm gonna zoom in, remember command or control drag, depending on PC or Mac, okay, and drag around. And what I'm gonna do is pick face skin, okay, and let's click create. I'm gonna scroll down to my mask, okay, and you'll notice here that there's a lot of uh, information in the skin. She's got pretty flawless skin, but there's, you know, you take a photograph sometimes and it just catches the light and you can see all the little hair follicles and all the little bumps and dips in the skin. Okay, and the magic potion for fixing it all is down here called texture. Let's just drag it all the way to the left. Zoop. Oh, look at that. If we drag it too far, like we just did here, it gets a little bit um, soapy. I think it's a word that I invented for retouching. I don't think anybody else uses it. <laughs> this is the case. Don't be going using soapy anywhere. Okay. Or smushy, too smooth. Okay, you get the idea. So the, it's about the balance, right? You don't want to remove the personality from the person, but sometimes we want to just hone back some of the skin just so it's just a little bit more nice. Okay, now when it comes to texture, what is it doing? Um, before we looked at noise, okay, noise looks at the teeny tiny parts of the image, okay? Basically pixel by pixel. Whereas texture is kind of like another level up. It's doing the same thing. It's trying to find them and remove them, okay? But it's more looking at larger groups of um, contrast, okay? And often it's found in skin. So that's why it's really good. Drag it down. So texture kind of identifies them and in our case removes them. Clarity uh, is something goes in hand in hand with texture. Okay, we can like uh, raise the contrast or in our case lower the contrast of that texture. Smoothing it out, lowering the contrast. Often that's the kind of ratio, more texture, a little bit of clarity. Let's zoom in. Okay, I'm going to use command plus or control plus. My zoom's gone a little bit funny at the moment. I'm gonna turn those little people off. I don't like those pins, okay, that appear. So let's look at clarity all the way down. Again, gets a bit milky, soapy. Milky might be another one that doesn't get used very much. Okay, texture do the most of the work. And then clarity, removing it, will help remove a little bit of the contrast of these as well. Backslash before, after. Oh, it's nice. All right, click it once to come back out. Before, after, before, after. Probably a little bit too much. What you can do is once you get it, especially if you zoomed in, you're like, oh, okay, that was a bit much. Instead of going back and trying to drag all the different sliders, you can just say mask one, just remove it or just remove it a little bit, just to back it back a little bit. Just to say, I want a little bit in there just to tidy it up. Nice. Now, in terms of retouching skin, we'll do that later on. We'll look at the healing section of this. We'll separate that out. We're kind of in masking zone. Let's look at another image to practice. So G back to grid view. I'm gonna open up this one here. Okay, and in this case, I'm gonna do something slightly different. I'm gonna try and remove some of the skin texture, but also play around with things like the color. So I'm going to command, drag out over that one, troll drag on a PC. You're sick of me saying that, but you know it, right? It's in there, it's embedded. Uh, I'm gonna get a mask. I'm going to look down here at people. And I've got one person. I'm going to pick both 
the skin for the face. Really creepy where it goes red. I don't know why they chose red. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to pick the body skin as well. And you've got two options here. You can, if I just click create now, it's going to join those two up. So you've got one mask that's both the skin for the body and the face. You can separate those out if you want to work on those differently. I'm going to leave them together, click create. And what I want to do is I want to find my mask. There it is there. I want to go do my texture magic. Okay, too low, somewhere in there. Remove the clarity as well. I'll get rid of all of her features, but tone them back. They're accentuated by the lighting, okay, and by the makeup. And that's the other thing I want to do is I want to go and look at some of the temperature. So uh, the makeup in this light feels too yellow for me. I'm going to kind of make it more neutral. Okay, so I just dragged a tiny bit out of it, but I think it's a big result. Let's have a look before, after. Let's do another one. Why not? Okay, uh, let's open up this one here. Let's first of all rotate it. Who remembers where rotate is? Oh, that's right. It's under crop. What's the shortcut for crop? Oh, let's see. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay, we're going to rotate it around. You can right click it in gallery view. You're totally right. This is just another way. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. I'm going to zoom in on the skin by actually let's do the mask first. So M for mask. Oh, look at all the shortcuts. Wait for people detecting them one of them. I'm going to do just the face in this one. So face skin, click create. Here's my mask one. I'm going to go do my trick. I'm going to zoom in now. Now my shortcut doesn't work in here. It does some weird stuff. Uh, I can't do my command drag. Yours might not work either. Um, this might be because mine's a beta version. Yours might be because it just doesn't work in here. You can click once and it zooms into 100% or you can hit command or control plus on your keyboard. It's another way. Click and drag. So I want to go in here and I want to say magic texture. Oh, good. Clarity up a little bit. Perfect. Down a little bit, I meant. And what you'll find is, uh, I, I guess I had this one in here because I wanted to show you the difference between noise. See all that noise in the background and texture. Texture. So the noise is still in there, whether you want that in there or not. Okay, texture won't remove it. It looks at a kind of another level up, another size grouping of contrasting colors. So before, after. If you want to remove the noise for the entire image, those are the tiny little specs. And instead of doing it to the mask, we're going to do it to the overall image. Okay, and we're going to go down to details. Just to remind you, remember noise reduction in here? I'm going to crank this up too far. Add another, it's going up pretty high because it's quite noisy. What's the ISO? I'm going to hit I on the keyboard for information. ISO is reasonably high, giving us our grain. I'm going to go back to E for editing. You can obviously click all these. I don't know. I like Lightroom for shortcuts because there's a lot of times where you are just going through so many images and shortcuts are quite handy. So under details now, okay, noise reduction. Do I like it? So noise is different from texture. Texture is bigger, but you can do both. We go to get back to my mask. Okay, I hit M for mask and then just click on it here. Then it'll bring this back up. Otherwise, you're stuck kind of back doing generic stuff. Let's click once, go all the way back out, turn off those little people. See those guys there? You might love them. I don't like them. Um, one last thing. Let's look at the light balance. Like it's a cool photograph, very blue. Okay, but I want to go to my overall, not my mask. I'm gonna go to the stuff up here. Mask down the bottom. Light at the top color white balance i'm gonna go and just say auto oh good work computer here we go all right i think success quite proud of myself here here we go texture we rotated stuff white balance we're photo editing people oh actually i feel like that was the finale there's one more <laughs> let's go the other way we've removed texture but there's times where you want to add it okay so g for grid and i'm going to go and open up this guy so i want to go all kind of big grillsy tag hoya watch advert man conquering nature look okay so you saw it at the beginning there so again we're going to go and say mask out the person now in this case we could go select subject because it'll select i want to do the whole person I'm not just going to do his skin okay but we could go entire person there same same Okay, so I've got my mask on my person. Let's have a look down here under uh, texture. Okay, and we've been taking it off. Okay, it gets a bit soapy. We crank it right up. Oh, look at that. Do I want it all the way up? I think it do. I like it. Before, after. Same thing with clarity. Let's have a look at it. Where did it go? Down here. Clarity. Okay. 
Can you see there's a bit of a, a better explanation of texture versus clarity. Texture, okay, pulls up the texture, makes it more obvious, and then clarity really cranks up the contrast of them. You'll see a bunch of images like this. It's kind of like a cool look for a little while. Okay, how far am I gonna go? Oh, there, that looks good. Let's also look at just contrast on its own, okay. It's not just doing the contrast of the like texture, okay, the lights and the darks, it's actually doing the same with the colors. Okay, so look at his beard. Look how beardy that looks. And same with saturation. I want to crank up the saturation a little bit on this guy. Too far to there. Okay, before, after. Who wouldn't want to buy a really expensive watch from that guy? I feel more outdoorsy just looking at him. There we go. All right, so texture used normally for smoothing skin, but also adding a really cool effect to an image as well. Super handy. And a big thank you to artificial intelligence for making that skin selection so much easier now. Previous versions of this course, there was a lot of painting <laughs> with a brush. Now, even in its kind of infancy, it's pretty amazing. So by the time you're watching this, it'll be better, I promise, but pretty solid even now. Okay, lastly, I've got some uh, examples you can practice with. These aren't class projects that you need to submit, but just something to just to play around with. You can play around with the uh, ones we've done. Okay, hope you have throughout the video, but there's a couple of other ones. There's this woman here, there's another one, there's another one. Okay, you can mess around with these. Oh, look at this one. That might be a good one from earlier, just to have a practice. Oh, look, another one. There's loads to practice on. Practice selecting skin, working with texture and clarity, but also some of those light settings. Highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, temperature. All right, enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on, like and subscribe.